Hey everybody, Stefan here from the Milford Station and uh, I got a nice little haul here I'm going to go through. I uh, picked this up from a couple people that I uh, regularly buy things from. Uh, I bought initially bought some stuff from them. They were clearing out a storage locker that they bought and uh, I got it on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Anyways, I told them when I was over there I was that I were obviously I was a reseller and uh, now every time they, they get uh, some extras or they find they come across something they just call me directly and tell, let me know and show me what they got. They send me pictures and I make them an offer and go pick up the stuff. It's like literally 10 minutes from here. So uh, just a, a good idea. So if you're ever buying things locally, make contacts, like uh, give your name out and tell them that you're a reseller. There's no shame in that because then they might know someone who's giving stuff away or selling stuff and they'll give you a call. So anyways, this here, I paid, um, I saw some pictures, I made an offer for $60, which they took right away. And I get a free bin too, so that's good. They always give me the stuff in bin, so that's good. So I'm going to go through it very quickly, let you know what I think I can get, and uh, go from there. So first thing is uh, Simpsons, new in the package, a new old stock. It's uh, Lionel Hutz, I think is his name. He's the, I think he's the principal? I don't forget. He's in The Simpsons anyways, and he's got the voice thing. I looked this up. It, it probably sells for about 20, 25 bucks. So there you go. That's uh, almost half my money right there. Next thing is this vintage little toddler toy, which is like a Humpty Dumpty. And uh, it's from Play School, and I'll probably get like 10, 12 bucks for that. So it's nothing big, but it's kind of cool. Watch. Ooh. Hours and hours of fun. And then it's hard to put back together because there's only five pieces. But anyways, so that's that. Uh, next is this gimmick thing. It's a portable kettle. So it's basically brand new, never used. Probably vintage of some sort, but uh, it's in great shape. It's a kettle where you can make coffee, tea. It's got all the attachments inside. And you can, it works in the lighter of your car, so a 12 volt adapter in a car, which would have come in very handy a few weeks back when we got hit by a Hurricane Fiona and we were out of power and I couldn't get a coffee anywhere. And the one place that was open had a two hour lineup. So this would have come in handy to get some boiling water in the car. So I might just keep that for myself, but um, I'll find out how much I can get for it, but probably not a whole lot. That next is uh, I was excited when I saw this, but it's it's empty. It's a camera case, Optex, nothing fancy, nothing too high quality. But I've seen them on Facebook Marketplace. They sell for about ten, fifteen dollars. So I can sell that locally here or even online, whatever. A lot of people, you know, it's a nice camera case, got all the pockets and everything. So well, that's probably another ten bucks there. Uh, this is some sort of ceramic clock looks like this was handmade um probably like local art it says joffrey mccreaner 1990 so joffrey if you're watching i got your clock if you want it back it's 25 bucks anyways um yeah so it does work it's got a little clock on the answer it's kind of cool somebody will probably buy that for 10 15 bucks um Next is a Kodak, and that is, uh, I believe it's a number two something something. Oh, um, number two brownie, and it, what it is, it's a vintage, probably from the 1920s. Uh, it's a vintage black box camera where you just, you, you can open the box, there's a spot where you can put your film, there's just the one film, close the box up again, and the lens is here in the front, you click it, there's your picture. They go for about 10 bucks. I was disappointed because I thought I would get a lot more for it, but uh, seems like they're quite common. Still, uh, next is a Funko Pop. Not a big Funko Pop fan. The, the market's flooded right now. There's too many of them, um, but this one's kind of in rough shape too, but it's Dr. Orson Krennic from Star Wars. So anyways, I might get five, six bucks for this. Uh, this thing here looks like a, a, an Ethernet hub, so it's a router, five port Ethernet rub. Not, nothing new, it looks like it's probably about 15 years old, 
but it is new in the package. I've sold these before, not for a lot. I'm saying six, seven bucks for this thing plus shipping. It'll likely go because it is new sealed. Some people like to buy that old vintage computer gear. Uh, next is a fried milk chocolate and assorted nuts tin. And this thing looks very old. And I don't know where it's from. Oh, it's from Cadbury Brothers, made in England. Uh, six, uh, it doesn't say the year, but I'll look it up. I'm, I'm sure I can probably get $10, 15 for this. It's a nice little decoration. And with tins, there's another tin here. This one looks like it locks. It's The Mermaid by Jean-Baptiste Girls from the Louvre, Paris. And I believe this was a box of toffee. Uh, these were, yeah, the world's premier toffee thorns, Leeds, England. So, and inside was a bunch of uh, cookie cutters of some sort. I'll probably end up throwing those out or donating them. But the, the tin itself, I looked up very quickly. I can get 10, 15 bucks for it as well. Too. Uh, this is a, obviously it's a, an old-fashioned flip cell phone, digital wireless handset, audio vox. I don't think this is anything special. Uh, yeah, it's tiny. Oh, hello, it's for you. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, I don't know why I use that voice, but anyways, it looks like it's brand new. It's still got the tape on there, but I can probably, let's say, uh, Five to ten dollars. Uh, next is a JVC VH, compact VHS camera. Not sure if it works or not. There's that's it only came with this, no battery, uh, extra battery or cables or anything. So I'm gonna sell this for parts as is for parts or repair. It might work. I don't know, but uh, it looks fairly clean, so it might it might go for some. I'm not sure of the model, but I definitely get between ten and twenty dollars for this if I sell it for parts. Um, for electronics, a lot of times I'll pick up electronics even if I know that they're probably not working. But if it's something like a video camera, a lot of people will buy these for parts, and you'll always be able to at least get your money back. So you can list it up, and the good thing about selling as is for parts is you don't really get any returns. So. When they buy it, they know it's not working, or they assume it's not. And if it does work, bonus. Uh, next is a Pentax SPO 738G uh, zoom camera, 38 to 70 mils. It's one of those, the old-fashioned kind with uh, where you got to put 35 mil film in there. But uh, yeah, I'm not. Again, I'll sell this as is, not tested, and uh, I'll probably get 10 bucks for that. This is a crappy little alarm clock. Looks like a little travel uh, alarm clock. I don't think I'll get anything for that. That'll probably go for a donation. Uh, this here is a tracker. It's from Europe. Some sort of a, for European wall outlets, it's some sort of a converter. Price tags on it, $10.99, five bucks. I don't know what it does, but I'm sure I'll look it up. I'll find out. Uh, another camera, which is an Olympus stylus. Now this one here, I'm going to look up because I know the uh, Olympus stylus cameras, some of them go for really good money still. Um, even the old ones that take film. So I'm going to look that up. There's, I think this is at least $20, $25. So, but i um, not sure if I can test it. I'll get a film. I don't have any film, so I can at least test the flash and, and all that stuff. But... I'll likely just sell this uh, as is, untested, for uh, 15 to $20. We'll see. We'll see what the comps say. Uh, Mario Lemieux, for those who follow hockey, it's just a little tin frame. Not sure, probably something that came free with a case of beer or something. I don't know. I have to look that up. Uh, and next is a beat up box, which belongs to. The other half of this box, which has a set of cutlery, which I don't think has any names or brands, or but it is a, kind of a fancy box thing. But these, I'm not sure if this is Bakelite, 
but it does look, I'm not sure if you guys can see this zoomed in, but it does look kind of cool. But uh, these are, they look like they're decent quality. Oh, there we go. Made by Sheffield Stainless Steel. Okay, so I'll have to look that up. I know Bakelite, there's a way to tell if it's real Bakelite, because I know Bakelite goes for good money, uh, if you guys ever come across it. It looks just like this. And um, I heard um, the nurse flipper, she said if you heat it up, it smells like formaldehyde. So if you rub it, let's see. It doesn't smell like anything. So it smells like plastic, more than likely. But I'll probably get about 10 bucks for this, at, at minimum. Maybe more. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Or we might just keep them. They're nice little steak knives. But uh, yeah, there's one more thing here. Uh, that's not worth nothing. It's Toronto Maple Leaf clock of some sort. The needles are all. I think the needles are broken because they uh, they they showed 1967 for some reason on here. I don't know what that means, but 967. Well, whatever. Must be something symbolic for the for the Toronto Maple Leafs, but yeah, uh, this is crap. Not going anywhere. I don't even know what it's why it's in our house. I feel dirty just having it here. We need to get rid of it. All right, um, and a tin which I'll use for storing, obviously. And that is it. So sixty dollars for all that stuff, and we're probably looking at about one hundred fifty to two hundred bucks. So, again, my name is Stefan. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We're going to be putting up a lot of these videos and uh, follow us along in our uh, travels, that's right, in our reselling uh, endeavors. And uh, me and Kelly are uh, going to be teaching and showing what we go through and what we learn and what not to do, what to do, and all that good stuff. So, anyways, have a great day. Bye bye.